tying all these knots. I know. I'm stiff as Frankenstein. <laughs> Halloween plans? No. Oh, hopefully nothing as scary as this week. I was up every night with colic crying. Do you have a newborn? Six weeks. Oh. Congratulations. Thanks. You? Not quite ready yet. Mm. There no more. Mm -hmm. I'm about two weeks in. Oh. Been married for three years, there. No, oh, but the pill's toxic. I don't want to drink my body every month. That's not what I meant. Yes, 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 dude. Get it, get it. That is the best '90s dance, my man, right here. Yes. Yeah. All right, ladies, you got nothing on my man. Oh, really? Yeah. Mmm. Love you, baby. Bring it back to the '90s. So sexy. All right, Shane, your card. Ready? All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do your best Australian accent. Go. Go. Oh no, that's Go. too hard. No, 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 no passing, oh. no passing. <gasps> Shane, you go first. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see how it's done. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Cynthia's <laughs> 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 next. Oh. I'll show him how it's done. <clears throat> Boster's Australian for beer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, pretty good, Very right? Nice. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> well done. <gasps> Think we'll get a lot of kids? The ones in the jam bands? Yeah. Granola's healthy. They shouldn't get all junk. What if we fostered a child? What, like on TV? No, like a kid that needs a temporary home for whatever reason. So, here, with us? It would be short term. We could see how we take to it. We'd have a kid of our own. Oh, early birds, groupies. Come on. Aren't they always troubled? I mean, that's what you hear. Not if they're still really young, and no one's treated them terribly. Could you tell them if they had? I don't know much about it, but I think younger is better so we can 
See what the responsibility's like, you know? What about him? He's adorable. Only four years old. Look at that face. <laughs> Looks like he has a health issue. Sleep apnea. Wait, maybe it's not such a big deal. We can look into it. I don't want to stress you out with this. He's four. Some of the hard part's over. And it's temporary, right? We're good. Kitchen half junk. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, catch him. Caleb with another walk-off home run victory. Woo! Uh, You're the home run king. Yeah! <laughs> Can you teach me how to do that? Pick it up. Let's go, Caleb. Oh. <laughs> Two seconds off your time, Andretti. Let's go again. <laughs> Come on. Yep. Okay. God, you can make him neurotic. Life is measurements, baby. Hope not. Oh, <laughs> burn. Let's go, Caleb. Perfect. Woo! Oh, that one there, honey. She hasn't had any. Oh, that piece is a little too big. Not too much, otherwise it gets stuck in their throat and they can't breathe, right? Just little pieces like this. Yeah. It's great, Caleb. Oh! <laughs> Is here. Ooh. Daddy! Hey, Yvonne. Uh. You finished work early, Daddy. Yeah, I don't want to miss anything. You having fun? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here. You need some ducks, huh? Take a piece. Let's see what you got. I see that arm. You can go anywhere in your dreams, even under the lake with all the little fishies. <laughs> like a snorkel. Ganesha, the elephant. Who's that, honey? Ganesha, I'm an elephant. The hose is my nose. <laughs> yeah, it does look a little bit like an elephant's nose. Who taught you that word? What is it? Ganesha. Good night, Caleb. Don't go. What is it? Are you my mommy now? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to be? Are you gonna come back? Of course I am. You made it all the way from down the street. <laughs> oh, I need to have you a massage. I am not working tonight. Come in. No. <laughs> you look great. Hey. Rick, so fashionable. 
Yeah, I know I'm late. But how many bars you got? I don't know, we don't have any bars, but the fridge is kind of maxed out. No, 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 these bars, boss. You got the tower up and buzzing. Just came down, guess yours is off. <laughs> hey, man, it's Friday night. Cynthia <laughs> probably hit it from me. Keep me out of the office. Well, she takes her work home. Lucky man. Got no excuse being so uptight. I'll show you the extra fridge. Come on, one. No, no, I want Cynthia to get all her yayas out, so I'm on daddy damage control. Are you really making it official? Yeah, yeah. we sent in all the adoption paperwork, had the home study, we got approved. <laughs> Your hands are amazing. I kind of feel sorry for you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Because you can't use them on yourself. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, you're nasty. I love it. <laughs> oh, God, I love this song. That's it. You're doing a great thing here, man. He's a great kid. And uh, Cynthia's really bonding, too. Here we go. Hey, come on. Hey, it's a party. It's too loud. Oh, are you gonna be a librarian? At least be a naughty librarian. Come on, let's see that running. Come on, dance with me. Caleb, can't sleep, buddy? You're not sleeping. because they're nocturnal, like an owl. They rest in the daylight, and they're busy at night. Like fireflies. Yeah, that's right, bud. <laughs> How do you get the light inside? OK, let's go back to bed, buddy. Dad, I want to see you. Oh. Well, the light is really a chemical. It's like a juice that sends out tiny little particles that our eyes see as light. Okay, let's get this back on you so you can pick out a story to read. Ready? There's Cassiopeia. Which one? That W. My constellations are really anything you want to make them out to be. Oh, yeah. The only one that looks like anything to me is the Big Dipper. No, I can see him. I can't imagine doing what you're doing. Putting your life aside for somebody else. I'm somebody else's kid. He's in some of your universe now. Yeah. He really is starting to feel more and more like our own. But... You see that one? That is a champagne supernova. Gonna go get us some. <laughs> okay. Yes.
And these are your only anticipated guests? Mainly just our friends. Extended family? It was a closed adoption. We don't have any information about his birth family or anything specific about who fostered him before us. I understand. So would you like us to draft his obituary then? science for a soul and where the soul ultimately returns. It's all the same energy. And their consciousness or soul interacts with the field outside linear time. It gets back to the whole holographic universe idea. Everything is just a mental projection. OK, so what I'm hearing this book does best is, is build bridges to other works about the soul, about the afterlife, about, about our place in the universe. But let's take this book for its own merits. Hi. Can we help you? Have you read the Allfield? I'm sorry. It does look a little bit like an elephant's nose. Done. Can I take a flight? 
Your wedding invitations. Do you remember the font, the shade and texture of the paper? Yeah. How did you mail them? At the post office. <laughs> I mean, did you prepare them yourselves? Write the addresses. I wrote them, Aaron stuffed them in the envelopes. You did them together. And when you sent them off, out of your hands, into the vast world of chance, mishaps, and others' accidents. I think that the mail is pretty reliable. It's a metaphor, Aaron. I got that. I just don't think that the Postal Service is careless. Certain individuals, yeah, maybe. And thinking back on this shared experience, What's the first word that occurs to you? Commitment. Oh, yeah, you said that so fast. Um, that's what I think of, too. She's always been a little slow with that one. Aaron, do you blame Cynthia for your loss? pass into nature, which is my own. And under my will, all is annihilated at the end. Now, similar to Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, if we look later to the Ganesha Purana. Ganesha? The Hindu deity. He was always portrayed with an elephant's head. Why don't you read from the Mark passage here? I am Anadi, beginningless. I am Aja, the unborn, taking birth in many wombs only to protect the selfless and abolish the wicked. I am Bhutatma, the one soul in all beings. I am the cause of the world and its imperishable witness. Yet I annihilate all at the world's end. Yeah. Do you have a, do you have a ride out there? I do, I do, I do. Okay. Bye bye. Stay again. Bye. Yeah. I read ahead. I was wondering, is there anything else that I could get started on? Of course. Om Manapadmi Om. Om. Manipad me om. Om. Manipad me om. Om. Manipad me om. Om. Manipad me om. Non attachment. A constant equal mindedness to all desirable and undesirable happenings. Om. Hey, hey, wh what are you doing? Just cleaning. What do you think you're enlightened past his memory now? <laughs> you don't get to decide that for me. Make a call. You okay? It's been weeks since I've seen you. Hey, slow down! God damn! I'll see you later, Liz.
Hey! Hey! What are these things? It's Ganesha. What? Are you putting them out there? Then why do they keep showing up? The garage door is open. Sorry. Don't use that. You really shouldn't eat that. I made us a quinoa and kale salad. Us? No, you didn't, because you know I don't like that stuff. Well, that's proven radiation. Like your cell phone? That hasn't been proven either? Oh, that's just because you follow company line and only read studies that further what you want to believe. Oh, I do that. Man is made by his beliefs. As he believes, so he is. Gita, verse 17.3. Oh, you have very energetic hands. to see the energy. The oil field. It's Kirlin Photography, a Russian husband and wife. They discovered it together in the 30s. You know, find something else. Find something that has power for you. to see energy. It's simple. And we do the same. We, we hold our intentions within the field and then we focus until it manifests. What would you like it to show you? He's all right. Somewhere that he doesn't blame me. This is Dagan. He leads our book club. Hi. Small club. It's a pleasure. I was, um, I was just showing your wife some electrography. Doesn't sound like a book club. Would you like to try it? Right here. It's cool. Check it out. Dagan. Help your friend get his shit out of my house. You asshole! So incredibly sorry. It's all right. It's just a bruise. It shocks you into awareness. Keep focus on yours and see what answers it brings. It looks pretty fried. I've got no service, but why am I still picking up so much RF? This place is buzzing like Chernobyl. Is there another tower nearby? Not ours. And the whole cell's out. Finish checking the branches. Come on down. Cover that, boss. I don't know. Maybe Little League struck it out. Too many parents posting on Instagram. Wanna grab a beer? What, now? Who's gonna tell? Me 
music, whale song, chant, or a silence. Did you see the news today? About all the whales? No. Mm. I think our internet's been down. We've lost about 130 whales from the stranding yesterday. So that's, that's, that's a high mortality rate. So we roughly have 70 whales left to rescue, but that's... I've heard that there are 200 whales stranded coming to, to help them. Yeah, they're just too big for us to, to even contemplate trying to ship them. This, um, it's a pretty specialist task, uh, disposing of uh, or putting these sort of whales out of their misery and uh, nobody else could get here any sooner. Have you seen this? Area residents are familiar with the occasional beach stranding, but never one like this. More than 600 no. sea turtles have washed ashore. Experts are desperately trying to figure out why the animals are dying worldwide. And they can't keep up with are the always... of rescue. With more from person. Unsuspecting birds flew straight into skyscrapers. Most migratory songbirds fly toward their destination at night, which increases their risk of crashing into tall buildings. Birds mistake reflections for sky and flew straight into the glass at full speed. Some researchers believe that the internal collision with buildings is the preventable the switch. Cable's out too. I'll call a cable company. All these whales are beaching. Mercury's in retrograde. Mercury? The planet? Is that astrology stuff? It interrupts all kinds of electronic devices, communications. Well, maybe the whales should have checked their horoscope. My mind's dead, too. You're driving me nuts. That's how you practice. Can't you just play a full song? That's not how you practice. I'm very sorry if a bit of self-discipline gives you a headache. This self-discipline? Stop, Aaron. There's a retreat this weekend. You should really come. I should come. Aaron, you reek. Well, at least you still have one of your senses left. The lights are out. Good. No, Aaron, the power's out. Transformer must have blown. It's not just here. It's happening everywhere. It's a power failure. I didn't see any whales washed up outside.
What do you mean there's someone in this room? There's someone there. I saw them. Please don't go up there, Aaron. Please, let's just go outside, okay? Call 911 once you. The phone is back on. No, Aaron, please don't go. Go, away. go, go. Somebody in there? Hello? Who are you? What are you doing in here? Aaron! Hey! Answer me, who are you? How did you get in here? Don't, don't move, stay there! Oh, God. Cynthia! I found you! Aaron! It's time! Grab a seat. Bye. She's not gonna be out long. Go, go, go. Is the phone back on? No. We're in the garage. Is that safe? There's tools and saws out there. It's the only door that doesn't lock from the inside. She won't be able to get out. Okay. Sit down. <sighs> she locked your car. What, in the garage? Are you seriously giving me a lecture about locking doors right now, Aaron? How do you think she got in? I don't know. What, you always lock the door when you're out in your car bartending? Careful where you point that one. What did she say to you? She said she... she found me. Do you know who she is? Of course not. Found you? And that it was time. Time for what? I don't know. That's just what she said. She's waking up. Get inside. Can you hear me? Say yes if you can hear me. Yes. What the hell are you doing in her house? Let me talk to her. No. She doesn't got a thing for you. Just, just let me talk to her. No. Go upstairs and get us some clothes. Come on. Can you hear me? What's your name? Please just tell us your name. We are all one, Cynthia. How the fuck did you know her name? Huh? Who are you? Who is she? I don't know. How do you know my name? He left you through that door. I have every right to defend myself in my home. Understand me? Crazy bitch. She said that he left us through the garage door, Aaron. Why was she in Caleb's room? Because he's fucking crazy. You can get all that information off the internet. Yeah, but his room? It was a publicized accident in front of her house. The names, addresses, all the circumstances. She's not here to hurt us. She came in here naked with no weapon. No, Aaron, something is happening tonight. Stop, stop it. Whales, the power, all of the communications. Get your head out of the astrology and book club and all that bullshit and screw your head on straight. Are you okay? I cut myself. She's hurt. Tough shit. 
I tied her. She can't hurt anyone but herself. Just let me go. Wait. Show us you're still tied. Show us your hands. What did you step on? I don't know. God, Aaron, it looks deep. I think we should just take her back into the house. Are you insane now? She's not coming back in her house. It is no longer your house. That's why we must prepare. Back inside. We'll put her in your hatchback and take her to the police. Wait, you think that's safe? Being in a moving car with her? What if she freaks out and we lose control? You drive, I'll watch her in the back. I'm not doing it, it's not safe. Don't, don't do this. What, be rational? You wanna cozy up to that criminal and see what mystical message she's broken in here to tell you? I know you're on that wavelength. The two-way radios will still work. If you're not gonna help me get rid of her, I know Rick will. Fine. You go do that, I'll bandage her. No, no. You can ask her anything you want in the car. I'm not taking the car. Take advantage of this goodwill. You will be harmed. You understand? I've not come here to harm you. Two minutes. The door open. Rick. Rick, this is Aaron, do you copy? If you can hear me, there's an emergency at my house. Over. This might hurt a little. That's not okay. You have gentle, healing hands. They're your livelihood. Have we ever met before? We have all met before. Energy flows so easily through them. You're a conduit. Open. Giving of yourself. No one's ever put it quite like that. Well, these are extraordinary circumstances, aren't they? I'm gonna go get you some bandages and uh, some clothes. You are kind. What? He deserved kindness. Like when you took Caleb to the pond to feed the geese. How do you know what I did with my son? Were you watching us? Only from the oneness. Your son has lived many lives. Rick, if you can hear me, I'm leaving the emergency signal on. Where is she? She's in the bathroom. Were you crying? No. Uh, did you speak to Rick? No. Were you? No. I'm gonna go get her some clothes, okay? She has a sheet. Got wet. She's not a ghost, Erin. She doesn't need to wear a sheet. The teachers are all spirit guides. 
Then are these characters real? It doesn't matter. Even if the characters aren't, the authors are the true spirit guides. Why don't you get my keys and then I'll put this stuff on her. You going with me now? Yeah, let's take her. Wait, where are your keys? You'll have to find them. You need to cut your ties to get the clothes on. But if I do this, I'm gonna ask for something in return from you, okay? Seth, where the hell are they? I don't know, Aaron. Why are you here in our house? Release from vines. I've come to offer you the same. I asked you a straight question, I want a straight answer. If I tell you completely, we risk the very reason I've come. And that door cannot be allowed to close. Fine. I can't find them anywhere. Oh, check outside. I think I may have left them out on the patio when I was starting a new mandala. Jesus, come on. Is she dressed yet? I'll watch the door, you go look for the keys. No, I don't want to go out there. It's absurd. Absolutely absurd. Rick, this is Aaron. Do you copy? Rick, this is Aaron. Do you copy? is where you feel him most clearly, isn't it? In his room. Yes. Take my hands. Become your breathing deeply in, gently out. Slow and steady, just like you helped him. 
him to breathe right here in this room. His elephant nose, Ganesha, those little figurines, did you put them there? Least from mind. His questions, his tyranny, become your breathing only. <sighs> Opening. <sighs> Opening. <sighs> Opening. <sighs> we invite Caleb from the oneness. can feel him here now, can't you? He's here. Yeah, I can feel him. Let him move through you like breath. Let him speak with yours. What is it that you want to say to Caleb? I... Caleb, I miss you. I love you. Let your breath carry the words from deeper within. Purge them out. Are you happy? Free? In the all? I can feel his energy. Comfort him, not yourself. Breathe. <sighs> Surrender your words. She doesn't need them, Aaron. She's not here to hurt us. You don't get the ties. I'm gonna hurt her. Do you want that? He's infecting you. You'll need to be pure. Now! If you say another word to my wife, I'm gonna snap your fucking neck.
Better use of a power cord and a power failure. No thanks to you. There are no more. I think the cops are here. What? Why? They saw lights outside. Oh, thank God. She can prophesize to them. Here, let's get her up. Coming from out back. Please don't hurt me. Break down the door if you lock me out. I didn't lock you out. Oh, yeah, who did? Where are they? There are no roads back there. Maybe they're out the front. And... Oh, my God. What is that? I don't know. Looks like the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights, Aaron? I don't know. I don't know what it is, Cynthia. Okay. okay we're, we're taking my car. Come on. Where is everybody? Why isn't anyone else seeing this? Many have already gone. What do you mean, already gone? This is the end. You are crazy. It must be liberating, huh? You just imagine something and so be it. Aaron? It's just a weather thing, okay? It's connected to everything else going on, the power outage. It's, it's an electrical storm thing, all right? Watch her, I'll be right back. Wait, where are you going? I have to grab something, just watch her. Don't breathe in his fear. Breathe with me. Your path to tonight began under that tree, didn't it? Miss, is this your property? Is this your home? He held you then. He supported you. Strong and rooted like this tree. He did. But then he collapsed into his own weakness. And he let go of you. And what is his weakness? He's so rational. Really, he's just afraid of anything he can't see or prove or measure. Faith for him is fear. Cowardice is his weakness. That's why he blamed you, betrayed you. It was my fault. What happened there was not your fault. And it is forgiven. Who? Aaron's judgment is not. You will have to release that torment and Aaron's if you are going to be with him again. We've grown so far apart. Not Aaron. You have to prepare to leave him behind. To be with Caleb again. Caleb? That I'm not... I'm not his real mother. Pure souls join in the oneness where Caleb waits. There are no distinctions in that perfection. What are you? I'm only a guide. We need to go inside, right now. Wait, tell him what you said to me. He's not prepared. I'm not prepared? We Please. need to go. No, just wait, Aaron. She knows about. Remember the night Caleb was killed? How you held me under that tree? Tell him. We need to go back inside. Wait, just please tell him. Why do you have that? If you don't want me to pick her up right now, I'm going to leave her outside. Is there radiation? Grab her legs. Is there radiation? Yes, there's some. Lift. 
Hey, where are you going? Secure the house. Hmm. Sorry to me. Do not let her craziness in. Everything is gonna be fine. We're gonna wait this out and see what's going on. Just do not listen to her. This woman got undressed and broke into our house. He was open to me. Shut the fuck up! Cynthia, I need you with me, okay? I am. Okay. Here. What's happening? Is the world ending? It is a beginning, but only for those who are pure. Rick, are you there, man? I don't know what's going on. There's something weird with the sky. I'm getting crazy radiation readings. I'm talking to myself. Why won't you tell him the things that you know that would convince him? They have no home in him. He's closed. He does not mind to convince. Then why are you here? What do you want with us? Caleb's invited me into your home to free you into ours. Please, please, just help me to convince Aaron. He is not coming with you. He's my husband. I love him. There is a greater love than you can yet imagine. An all-encompassing, indivisible love. Breathe with me now. In Cathar, out is. Your mouth just to help me, God. No, stop, stop it, Aaron. How's that feel, huh? You need to get sane fast. You know something is happening. No, I don't. You know something profound is happening. Do not feed into this. Please, just, just give me your hands. need to look at you. Let me memorize you. Memorize me? Look at me. We don't have much time, Aaron. The world is ending. Just listen to yourself. You're gonna die. You are so blind drunk on your apocalypse. You cannot see anything else. Only you can make the end of the world so self-centered. You're hateful. I don't care if you think I'm the fucking Antichrist. I'm the only thing keeping me from being as insane as she is right now. She's not insane. She knows things about us, about Caleb. What if she really can't help us? What if she's here for a reason greater than we can possibly understand? You know what? If that's what it takes to get you to walk up these stairs when the sun comes up and everything is the same, and all the same shit is still all the same shit, fine. Fine. Thank you. I'm doing this for my wife, not for you. All right. Now what? Aaron. 
Aaron, you hear me? Over. Please, sit down. Come on, sit down. You took my hand. That was real smart. Now, take his. Breathe together now. In, out, ismos. 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 I can't. I can't pronounce. I'm not Aaron, gonna do this. No, please, just try. In, out, ismos, ismos. Feel his hands. Know them. Ismos. They held you. Ismos. Below that tree. And you felt the world would give way beneath you. His hands cradled you up. You did. And that unity you created. You shielded her eyes from his soul passing with protective hands, didn't you? I tried. I wouldn't give you a child. And then I took him away from you. No, oh, you didn't. I did. You did not. Feel his hands. Know them. Does she? Life embeds in the hands like the rings of a tree. Feel hers. Every loving, trusting canyon of her hands. Tell your wife what you've done. To Caleb, what you've done. I don't, I don't know what you want to say. Feel his hands. Feel how he let you go. Tell her. I didn't let Caleb look at the fireflies. I pulled him away from the window because I was tired. He wandered away because I fell asleep. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I never meant to blame you. Tell her what you've done. He hasn't done anything wrong. From his hands, you can sense it, feel them again. Tell her how you let her go. What does she mean? You're really asking me that? Only the truth will survive. Purge. Confess. Is there something else about that night? No. That night you saved a life. Life in the road. Go to hell. I'm done with this. Why would you say that? Only thing I'm certain you know is we lost a child. You have no decency. A different life. An animal's life. Who are you? Huh? Who the hell are you? Wait, Aaron, stop. I told you she knows things. Okay, I told you. She knows. Whatever it is, just... Just tell me. Tell her. You can tell me. Honesty. That's what I want. You weren't home. You were at some retreat. Who knows? I quit asking. I always asked you to come. You always told me I should come. There's a difference. What happened when I was away? You were away. Do you understand that? What happened, Aaron? A few months ago, 
It was a Friday after work, and a few of us, we got drinks. And one of the new field managers, she drank a little too much, so I offered her a ride home. She lives by us. Across from here, we saw a dog. So I picked it up and put it in the backyard. We went inside to call the number on the tag, but no one picked up. She sobered up, started asking me questions about you and our family, the pictures. And for the first time, I just, I let it all go. I'm a little kid, and I just felt weak and pathetic. And then, I don't know what happened, but I, I reached out, and I turned her to kiss me. She did, and I don't know if it was because of pity or what, but she didn't stop me. And so we had sex in our living room, and then we slept. We slept in our bed. Strangers. And when I woke up, I, I felt better. I finally just I felt better. He's betrayed you. abandoned you. I'm sorry. I still love you. I really love you. See what's going on. Come with me. Let him go. Like he let you go. Aaron. Aaron, I'm here at the house. You there, buddy? Over. We need to be upstairs where you'll feel him most powerfully. He will come to you and lead you across. Aaron! Aaron! He's already left you. You've cleared him. You need to be brave. What if it's all okay now?
idea. You all right? Well, is Aaron here? What's going on? I, I, my radio, I've got to... Wait, you didn't see Aaron out there? So he's here. Where is she? Where's who? We don't know. Aaron. Aaron, are you here? Aaron, you hear me? Hello? 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 <laughs> <laughs> now. Upstairs. Upstairs. <laughs> Sit. Why are you doing this? We haven't done anything to you. Rick! This is Rick! Rick! Do you hear me? Aaron! Cynthia! 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 Aaron! She's locked the door! Leave us! You are jeopardizing everything. Cynthia, breathe. Let go of all the illusions that bind you here. Aaron, she has a knife! Put that down! You hear me? Put it down! The radiation is gone. Everything is okay. Open the door. Let me in, please. Put down the knife. Open the door. Put down the knife. Please. Aaron! He won't intrude again. Take my hands. I can feel him here now. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, Caleb's here in the room with us. He's come to take you into the oneness. Away from this place of impurity and pain. You are ready. Did your passage, your eternity, and he's here now to lead us across. I'll show you. No. Now, Cynthia, it's time. Please. 
Please, please. I'll get you help. I promise. Promise? You're barren. Empty. You never deserved him. Clinton Street. Three people are very badly hurt. Yes, it's an emergency. He had to reset his shoulder and operate on some bleeding caused by the broken ribs. And then we stitched him up. But he's doing, he's doing well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Clare. And, um, Rick Dunham, I filled out his paperwork. I believe he's in surgery, but I'll check for you. And Dr. Clare, there was a woman, um, she was admitted about the same time as Aaron. Her name? We don't know her name. I'll inquire. Here is a massive burst of energy from the sun called a solar storm. And there's a couple different ways these things can happen. One of them involves basically a magnetic field, and what ultimately happens is a whole burst of light can shoot out and cause a problem. The even bigger ones that are solar storms, what they can do is even more. In addition to a burst of light, they can send out this massive junk, basically, so the sun plasma which can affect a lot of things. What can it affect? Well, first of all, think about what our world is doing today. We use satellites for almost everything. Communication systems, emergency communication systems, TV, internet, but it doesn't end there. It can actually knock out some electric grids. Let's go to this video. I want you to see this. I want to tell you the exact words that NASA put along with this. This was an observation of one of the most massive eruptions in years. They said Earth was in the line of fire this time. So what are the stakes here? Let's come back to my screen. I want you to see some information. You're awake. You're here. Of course. How are you feeling? I don't know. I guess that's a good thing. Something smells good, though. Oh, I, um, made a burrito. Like a microwave burrito? Yeah. <laughs> a microwave burrito. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. I think I know how I feel. Apparently, it was uh, a solar storm last night. No kidding. Yeah. I guess that's what made the lights threw the animals off. I can tell you didn't hurt your head too bad. Oh, look who's rejoined the world. Well, senor. And speaking foreign languages can be a side effect of the brain surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, Cynthia, could I see you outside just for a moment? Rick Dunham is out of surgery and he's stable. Oh, thank God. That woman you asked after, uh, you don't know her name or any identifying information. Do you? 
No. But maybe she can tell us when she wakes up. Mrs. Dorset, I'm sorry, but she won't wake up. <gasps> I'm very sorry. You do know that she did it to herself, right? Oh, yes. She's been here before. I want to sign it. <laughs> you say what? I don't know. Something sweet. OK. Nothing embarrassing. How come sweet's embarrassing? How about Cynthia was here? <laughs> <laughs> that works. I am here. She knew that we brought him here to feed the ducks. And that day of the party was the only time we ever did that. How'd she know? Maybe she was following us or something. What difference does it make now? I don't know. It's just, well, she had so much invested in who we are, our lives. Who was she? This is Aaron. Detective. This is it. She lived here? Yep. Read magazines and paid bills like the rest of us. Let me see. Carol Andren. Someone there. What? I think I saw someone. Something moved. Jesus, let's go. Okay, wait. It's a dog. It's a dog. Yes, 1701 Fair Hill. It's still alive. Yeah, it's inside. I, I gotta go back. I still have a mail. No one's coming to get that. Let's go home. You hungry? Yeah. Thank you. 
Aaron? Aaron! What's wrong? She knew all about his sleep apnea. His elephant nose. It was on his foster profile. He said the word Ganesha to me. He lived with whoever left those figurines, Aaron. We don't know that. It could be a coincidence. You still believe in coincidences? What if Caleb was her boy? Thank God they took him away from her. your back.